Spain, the land of Mediterranean beaches, great food, and civil wars. Throughout its history, Spain has gone through quite a lot of civil wars, especially when compared to other countries. We begin with. On November 1, 1700, the King of Spain, Charles II, died. He left his empire to Philip of Anjou, who was also heir to the throne of France, essentially uniting the two nations. This union terrified pretty much everyone in Europe, and so they went to war. The Allied nations of Austria, Great Britain, Prussia, and the Dutch Republic, along with a few others, backed Charles VI of Austria for the crown of Spain. We are not going to dwell into the war itself, so let's focus on Spain. Spain at the time was essentially a union of two states, the crown of Castile and the crown of Aragon. Castile supported the French Bourbon prince, while Aragon supported the Austrian Habsburg prince, not out of love for Charles, but as the local Catalan population feared that Philip would reduce their autonomy and suppress their freedom. The two sides would battle it out during the war with Castile and France gaining the upper hand in Catalonia. The war would end with the Allied forces achieving military victory over France and Spain. However, as Charles of Austria had become the Holy Roman Emperor during the war, Britain and its allies decided to let Philip take the throne instead, provided that he give up his claim to the throne of France. The war was costly for Spain, as it lost several of its territories in Italy and the Netherlands to the Austrians, as well as Gibraltar to the British. Aragon would be punished severely by the new French king. He reduced Catalan autonomy, suppressed their universities, and banned the use of Catalan in government. This war would see Spain starting to become a more centralized state, and the loss of autonomy would be a contributing factor to the Catalan's revolt during In 1833, the king of Spain, Ferdinand VII, died. He left behind the declining empire. Spain's colonies had recently declared independence. Their fleet had been decimated by the British, and the nation was essentially bankrupt. Upon Ferdinand's death, two factions emerged. One was the Carlists, named after the late king's brother, Carlos V. The other faction were the Liberals, who supported the late king's daughter, Isabella. The Carlists had the support of the Catalan and Basque minority in Spain. Aside from deciding the successor to the crown, the Carlists wanted to bring back an absolute monarchy, as the Catalans and the Basques hoped that the return of the absolute monarchy would restore the autonomy that had been abolished in previous years. On the other hand, the Liberals sought to defend the constitutional monarchy, and they had the support of France and Britain. The war was long and bloody, with tens of thousands of deaths, and both sides trading victories in battles. Eventually, the Liberal faction defeated the Carlists, Although the Carlist movement continued to persist, the Carlists would rear their head once again during After Isabella ascended to the throne, the Carlists wanted Isabella to marry the Carlist pretender, also named Carlos. However, the government had little interest in the union, instead marrying Isabella to her cousin. Thus, Carlist rebels began uprising in Catalonia. This second war was a lot smaller in scale compared to the first one, and mainly consisted of guerrilla warfare in Catalonia. In the end, the small Carlist squads were no match for the central government, and the second Carlist war would once again end in a Carlist defeat. In 1868, Isabel was forced to abdicate by military coup. The new government offered the throne to the prince of the Kingdom of Italy, Amadeo I which was an unpopular choice amongst the people. The Carlist pretender, Carlos VII, seized the opportunity and gained support by promising more autonomy in the Catalan and Basque regions. The war would begin in 1872, as the Carlists began an uprising against the central government. During the war, on February 10, 1873, Amadeo would abdicate the throne as he felt that he was not able to unite the nation, and the first Spanish Republic would be proclaimed the very next day. The declaration of the Republic would cause many monarchists to defect from the Republic to the Carlists. However, the Republic would restore the monarchy, installing Isabella's son, Alfonso XII, as king the following year, which caused many Carlists to give up the cause and stop fighting. The Carlists saw some successes in battle, but once again, for the third time, 
Mikarlis would be defeated. Mikarlis would continue to exist, however, and they even participated in. In 1936, Spain was not doing too well. The new republic, which had only been established five years earlier, was quite unstable, as different factions in Spain, such as the Falanges, Conservatives, Carlists, Anarchists, Communists, and Liberals, all vied for power. Strikes and political assassinations heightened tensions in the nation, and when the Popular Front, a coalition of left-wing parties, won the election in 1936. The right-wing army prepared a coup. The coup would succeed in some areas, but failed in some others, drawing the front lines of the war. On one side were the right-wing nationalists, who had support from Germany, Italy, and Portugal. On the other side was the original government, the left-wing Republicans, who had the support of the Soviet Union and Mexico. The nationalist faction, which included the Falanges, Conservatives, and Carlists. United under General Francisco Franco to defeat the Republicans. The Republican side, which included anarchists, communists, and liberals, were not as united, and infighting was common among the Republican side. The war saw the deaths of many civilians, from purges on both the nationalist and Republican sides. One of the most infamous incidents occurred in the town of Guernica, where German planes bombed the town and caused the deaths of hundreds of citizens. In the end. Franco the Nationalists defeated the Republicans, establishing Spain as a fascist country until his death in 1975. And that was every civil war of Spain. And if you ever find yourself in the Spanish Civil War, just remember, don't be Catalonia. <laughs>